What's up guys, Tattoo Vapor here, just to do a uh, quick review of a new item I recently picked up, and it is the Mad Dog Woodworks Limited Edition um, Wood Box. Now, I purchased this for, I believe, US currency, um, $160, and it's uh, made out of, I believe, ironwood and it's fully mechanical has a magnetic back to it so you just slide this off exposing your batteries and then when you take your batteries out this is what you got on the inside now I will say I'm not a huge fan because you you actually can't take this apart which kinda um, bugs me I don't like that. I um, I've had a fire pipes. I've I have my um, G4 box, and you can take those all completely apart. And this one, you you just can't take apart. Um, but there's some reasons why I want to take it apart, actually. So yeah, as you can see, just slide it up, pops right on. Right now, I'm rocking my um my El Diablo black bow which I just got in today which is pretty pretty cool pretty nifty now the the reason that the thing that I was saying about why I wanted to take it apart was because if you notice the RDA moves back and forth and it doesn't really seem like that screw um, does much justice like the the center pin screw now I will come and do a review on this one next but I just thought I'd review this one first I've had this longer so I've actually had a lot of experience with it this is my G4 box now um you know, grab my screwdriver with this one it has that that pin and you adjust it but when you adjust it, it it works fine it's very sturdy so as soon as you screw in on screw in that RDA it just sits there nice and snug now with that with the with the um, the mad dogs it seems like it almost pushes the pin in I, I don't know I mean granted the um, the G4 boxes uh, retails around 200 bucks where this is 160 but at the same time two quality shouldn't be overlooked and, and I kinda feel like um, quality was a little overlooked on this one um, everything else feels really sturdy on it the only problem I have like I said is with that that moving 510 like it moves back and forth like either they didn't posi either they didn't like mill it outright or it's not in there snug enough or it's loose or there's some problem and I'm a problem solver so like I would love to take this apart and actually fix it or find out the problem but I can't even take this thing apart because this is all you get there's nothing else I mean again I'll take out the batteries you get I mean, as you can see in the corner there, that's the wire going from the um, negative up to the positive, and that's all you get. I mean, everything else seems to be glued in or something else. I mean, it's a hard-hitting box, just like any other mech box you're, you're going to get, but I don't know. This one doesn't seem like... And it's kind of big, too. It's kind of hefty. Like, my G4 box... I look how small this thing is compared to this. I mean, it is like way smaller. Just nice and sleek, small, and this is kind of big. I like it. I like the way it looks. I like the way it performs. It performs well, but there's just some minor things that I don't like about it. Um, if I were you, see, I, I like to collect. I'm, I'm a collector. Of box mods and I'm, I'm really liking the wooden box mods lately so 
if you're as a collector, I like it in my collection. It's a great item. Works great, like I said. Hits hard as hell. But there's some issues with it. Like not being able to take it apart. It's a mechanical box mod. You should be able to take it apart. Um, but it seems like what they did was is they just they, they did everything they needed inside of here and they just glued that top on and now you're kind of just stuck with what it is. So that's the only complaint I have about it. The backs Oh the back's a little bit loose, like it's not completely fit. Like this is not a perfect box by any means, but the engravings are really nice, really high quality engravings. Um, everything else is, is pretty nice. It's all high quality. It's just like I said, and just anybody wondering those springs, it holds the batteries in pretty tight. I'm sure if I gave it a, a really good shake, it'd probably knock one out, but um, they're pretty, they're pretty solid. They're pretty solid. So, but that's my review on the Mad Dogs um, Woodworks Limited Edition box. If you're in the, um, I don't know how, how to say it. If you're, if you're looking to buy, if you're in the market for a wooden box mod, I'd check this out. But there's also a lot of other great options other than this one in particular. Like the G4 box is probably my favorite so far, which is quality. Um, I'm getting a new fire pipes. My last fire pipes I bought online from a kid and my battery got stuck in there and it vented and it blew up. Yeah, funny, not, not so funny story, but kind of fucked up, but yeah, so that happened. And um, I'm actually, I bought a new fire pipes box it's the newer edition so hopefully because I, I love the look of it and I love that you could take it apart and I love it's a very hard-hitting nice device if you can find one that works some people it's so hit and miss some people's work great some people's work really bad so that's um, gonna be the next one I'm gonna get um, but this one it's nice but there's there's definitely better options out there for you if you're really looking to spend in that price range of like 150, like 250 dollars, you have the G4, you have the fire pipes. Um, there's the classic, you know. I kind of want to pick up, and that's like 140, but I'm probably not gonna pick that up because it's pretty basic. I mean, I don't know. Like I would, if you're a beginner, I'd probably try that out. But they're all hard hitting wood box mods, high quality. But they come with this comes with some issues. Um, not all of them do. The G4 boxes work perfect for me. Um, fire pipes supposed to be great box, but some of them got fucked up in the early runs, and I guess I got an early run one. But um, other than that, check it out. And of course, if you like my videos, if you like what I'm doing, subscribe, like, comment. Um, Tell me what you want next. I think my next video, like my next video I'm actually going to take a lot of time on, is explaining how to wick and um, do your coils properly um, to not get any dry hits at really low ohms. Because believe it or not, this is actually like, I don't give or take, like probably 0 .05, 0 .06. Between 0 .05 and point, or 0 .1 ohm range, and yeah, no dry hits at all. So, someone requested it from me, so I might do something like that. I might also do some comparison between mechanical boxes, tube mods, and everything else like that. Um, I'm going to be reviewing the G4 box. Probably going to re be reviewing this bow because I really like this bow. Like, this thing is really fucking cool. But other than that, yeah, subscribe, like, comment. If you um, have heard of waffling or raffling... Or if you want to win some stuff for really cheap, check out my page, House of a Thousand Waffles. Um, I'm the admin on there, and um, I run everything on there. And it's all really legit, it's all really fun, and it's a really friendly environment. And it's growing, like, huge. Like, I would probably have 
760 members right now so it's it's growing pretty big and um, every day all day I'm running um, raffles either on box mods or on RDAs or on tanks like you can get an Arctic I do four dollar tank RDAs so you can win an Arctic for like four bucks I'd recommend to buy more spots than just one but I'm just saying you know you could win that for that low of price um, so Anyways, check out that page, House of a Thousand Waffles. Subscribe, Tattooed Vapor here, signing off. Thank you for watching, guys.